Hello, this is Professor Stephen Nesheba, and I'm uh, here to get you started on the Visualizing U of VT Computational Guided Inquiry for PCHEM. So uh, there's, uh, there's some objective and self-assessments as usual on this, and you'll want to you'll read through these uh, through the introduction. Here, for example, is the uh, internal energy of an ideal monatomic gas, and it gets kind of more complicated as we go along there. And, uh, and uh, it's all tied to the interaction between, uh, you know, molecules and, uh, you know, whether or not that interaction is repulsive or attractive and, and so on. So, but I'm going to skip down here to the, uh, to the pre-lab, which you're supposed to do in preparation. So you want to watch this video. You want to use equations 1, 4, and 5 uh, in the introduction to predict the constant volume heat capacity and internal pressure. So that's, that's the constant volume heat capacity, and that's the internal pressure. You're basically just going to take partial derivatives with respect to temperature and volume uh, for, a, uh, for a, a, an ideal monatomic gas. And, uh, and then you're going to need to download these uh, three thermodynamic services, which you can do right here from the cell. So that's kind of what I want to make sure you're clear on. Is um, So uh, what you will have uh, already done is downloaded those into your PCHEM folder, uh, okay, by, uh, by doing appropriate right-clicking and save as. those These files, you grid 1, 2, and 3, and vtext and ttext. Then uh, the first thing that's going to happen uh, in peak in the in the in the notebook is you're going to uh, just confirm that you are there. So I'm going to do that here. This this uh, pwd command, what it does is it tells you what the what the present working uh, directory is, and this is happens to be where I put those those files, and so that's good. And then uh, this next cell here actually loads them in into Python. So let's uh, load text. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And uh, hopefully it uh, loads them in just fine. And uh, and after that, um, there's a, there's a command here that will say uh, I want you to just do uh, the initial graphics in line. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, uh, execute that. All right. And uh, now um, what this is going to this next part here is you're going to be slicing off you know little um, r basically taking different rows. Um, so you can uh, look at the temperature dependence of that uh, of some of those um, internal energies uh, grids, which is what these are, and uh, so um, so that's what this is. And you're gonna I've I've set yourself up to do uh, the grid from one and two uh, surface one and two. You're gonna want to add the third to that. And uh, when you do two plots in a row like this, they'll just get superimposed on each other. And then the legend also kind of uh, it, I have two entries for the legend, so I'll go ahead and run this. But what you're going to want to do is add, uh, load in, uh, uh, slice off a, a third uh, row, and um, and uh, and add another plot command, and also fix up the, uh, the the legend here. So as you can see here, we've graphed off. This is uh, this is the temperature on this axis. This is the internal energy, and uh, you can see that the uh, the internal energy goes up as the temperature goes up, but it doesn't go up linearly, and that turns out to be that's kind of important, and uh, and so on. And then uh, we're going to get into 3D graphics. Uh, um, we're going to plot a surface as as a figure window. Uh, you're actually going to look at all three surfaces and do some analysis on that. So I think that's enough to get you started.